Next, we'd like to induct the man who has taken Bell Laboratories to unprecedented heights. Growing sales and launching countless rodent control innovations every year for 22 years and counting. Even during the pandemic, Bell launched about a dozen innovations to help PMPs save time and improve their effectiveness. And during the pandemic, this same leader didn't hesitate to roll up his sleeves, help out on the manufacturing lines to ensure products were made correctly and delivered on time. Here's a short video about our second inductee of the evening, Steve Levy. Not many people can say their father played boy in a Tarzan movie with Johnny Weissmuller, but Steve Levy can. His father also was one of the boys in the Newt Rockney movie, but he was very modest about his childhood acting career. Hollywood connection aside, Steve Levy is a star in his own right in the professional pest control industry. This high school basketball champion went to UCLA, majoring in economics and business. After graduation, he ended up in product management for a variety of consumer products, including Mighty Dog Pet Food, Tidy Cat Litter, and Flintstone Vitamins, among others. That all changed in 2000, when he met through a job recruiter, fellow PMP Hall of Famer Malcolm Stack, who founded Bell Laboratories in 1974. The two had similar business outlooks, and Stack brought Levy on board as general manager. In 2002, Levy became CEO and Stack transitioned to semi-retirement before passing away in 2006. Joining Bell Labs meant a relocation from Levy's native sunny California to the Midwestern weather of Madison, Wisconsin. That's where he fell in love with pest control. I'm just taken by how nice and respectful everyone in pest control is, even people who are competitors, Levy says. Companies thrive when they harmonize in this industry. There is so much camaraderie and kindness. I knew right away this is where I wanted to spend the rest of my career. Levy, who also holds a Master of Business Administration degree from the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, has steered the growth of Bell Labs through the pandemic and beyond. He is especially proud of Bell's environmental stewardship. With most of Bell's products produced domestically in the United States, all of its black bait stations are made with 100% recycled materials. All wooden shipping pallets are recycled and its corrugated master boxes feature 40% recycled content. In addition, more than 100 islands worldwide have benefited from Bell Labs' rodent risk mitigation efforts. Among those who have participated in a Bell Labs project is the Galapagos Islands, for which the company developed a specialized bait to eradicate invasive rats, and as a result, a giant tortoise was born live on the island, as opposed to incubation for the first time in 150 years. Levy also champions the pest control industry through his work with various associations, including the United Producers, Formulators, and Distributors Association. On a personal note, Levy has been married to Sherry since 1986, and the pair are the proud parents of two daughters and two grandsons. The family is active in charitable work, especially through the Levy Fund, for a variety of organizations. An outdoorsman at heart, Levy is still known to shoot a hoop now and then. Every so often, I like to hoodwink a youngster into playing horse, he says with a laugh. I'm still very competitive. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Please join us in welcoming to the podium P and P Hall of Famer, first round basketball draft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for that warm reception. 
Uh, this is a tremendous honor, and I'd like to thank PMP Magazine and the committee that saw fit to include me in this year's class. I'd also like to congratulate Jay and Richard on their achievements. As I said, the, this honor is much appreciated while also being completely unexpected. I accepted knowing that there were countless Bell employees who provided support along the way, and so I'd like to accept it on behalf of them as well. Thank you. As a lot of you know, many in this industry have followed in their family or their father's footsteps. I didn't do that, and as you might have surmised from the beginning of the video, it's primarily because I couldn't swing from a vine, and I don't have a particular affinity for chimpanzees. <laughs> but my father did teach me always to do the right thing and to look out for others. And with Bell Laboratories, my hope is that I had a role in making the company and the industry better. From a company perspective, it was important to me to continue to nurture our research and development so that we could enhance the quality and efficacy of the tools that the pest professionals used for rodent control. But it was just important to put into place practices that allowed us to manufacture those products here in the United States. We did that through outstanding innovations in automation, and I take pride in saying that 99.5% of everything we ship is made in Madison, Wisconsin. I want to thank the owners of Bell Laboratories, Linda Hughes and Ann Connor for their confidence and for allowing a continuous reinvestment in the business. Thank you. From an industry perspective, I always rooted for our collective success. It was very apparent to me from our early days that this was an industry that cared about its purpose and each other. I was able to meet and work with some of the nicest, decent, and most sincere people that I've ever met. Consequently, I took it as a personal challenge to do all I could to enhance the professionalism and the image of our industry. That challenge never really ends. But I do think through our innovation efforts, through our regulatory efforts, and through our island conservation efforts, we have made a lot of progress. It's very hard for anyone to have any meaningful level of success without the support of their family. I'd like to thank my beautiful wife of 36 years, Sherry, for her love and support. I'd also like to thank Madison Keller, one of my twin daughters who's here tonight, and her husband, Seth. My other twin uh, had her first child two weeks ago, and so she's not here. In closing, uh, I'd like to share a few personal facts and a final quote. I was born in 1960, which was the Chinese year of the rat. <laughs> Growing up, my childhood pet was named Arrow, and Arrow was an albino rat. I first met my wife, Sherry, on summer break in Boca Raton, which translates to rat's mouth. <laughs> in 2000, Malcolm Stack and I crossed paths, and I joined his rodent control company. And so the quote I'd like to share is from the Australian writer Garth Nix, and it is, does the walker choose the path, or the path the walker? Thank you for this very nice honor.